What are you doing here? Hello, big brother. I'm in debt. You're not the kind you get from a bank. How much? Forty thousand dollars. Can't run forever, you know. Want to bet? Howdy. Name's Troy. My girlfriend took off a couple days back, and I'm fixing a fender. <laughs> Arthur Borglund, seventy-two-year-old Caucasian male. They'd say that Mr. Borglund did not die in his sleep. Who would benefit from Mr. Borglund passing? Vicky. I know you can't pay. You left town, stopped answering your phone. I told you I'd get my money out of you. If you get me to my brother, I can get you your money by tomorrow. All of it. Pretty little girl from the trailer park. That's all you are and all you'll ever be. Someone's looking for you. How much does it pay, Daddy? Do you think I'm kidding? You are way off base about Victoria. And you can go to hell. Freeze, Duluth police! Shoot him! Typewriter? Are you a writer or are you planning on writing something? Yes, I already did. I mean, I am. Well, you wrote something, and now you need a typewriter. You know, since I like you and stuff, I'm gonna give you some insider information. You know, my screenplay, it's about this guy who kills another guy to get a script. I've read everything you've ever written, and it doesn't belong to you. Now, who wrote it? I wrote Hijack, and I wrote Remington. Can you believe it? So what's in this? Hijack? Well, that about sums it up, doesn't it? You understand the script is contagious. I mean, everybody just wants to be a part of it at any cost. It's killing everyone it touches. The kids stole a great script, but I'm the one that's the hound. I'm the one that said, let's get her done. <laughs> Wait, kid. Wait, I need your help. Back off. You just back off. Whoa, no, come on up. Ah! Ah! I don't need you, and you don't need me anymore. That's what it takes to write something really great. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? You can do better than that, kid. found each other, and with that, lost themselves. Let's try something different. Let's talk about whatever comes to mind. I'm rarely happy, so... Why are you rarely happy? Life is just the act of struggling. Do you love me? You're one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I'm broken, and I can't be fixed. This is all there will ever be. We live to die. Just killing time. How do you think you'll die? You're under arrest for the murder of Christina Meredith Thompson. What is going on? Get out of me! Did you kill her? Why did you take this young woman's life? I didn't take her life. She took mine. May God have mercy on your soul. There is no escape. Desperate Housewives on Park Avenue, okay? They're gonna be our first stop. How are you gonna get back? Customer service. Oh, the asshole mobile really arrives in style. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest douchebag in Queens. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Gina, I. I got one brother who thinks he's fucking Tony Montana, and another one who wants to live in a fucking van. Dad would be real proud.
No, I'm actually sort of from here, but I've been, been away for a while. Like away like working, not prison or anything like that. Must be a real hot shot back home. Brave city girl in America. Oh, I was. For a second. Now nobody cares anymore. He was always a bad kid. A tough kid. What are you gonna do? Keep sleeping in your van? You take his balls! You got a real problem. Look, it's really no big deal. I know it sounds crazy. What do you say? Everywhere I go, I feel like he's behind me, watching me. Get back here, you son of a bitch! You're gonna be alright. I don't know who's friends are. I don't know. We might have pissed off or fucked over. That's where the money is. And that is where I'm going. What happens when some junkie pulls a gun on Then I pull my back. Two brother is a drug dealer. And you're one too. All right. I had a dream once. I was running as fast as I could down this wide, empty road. Sometimes the dream and reality blur. I don't know what's up or down. All I knew was that I had to keep going. All right, Ian. How long were you away for? It's in my file. I'm Terry. Yeah. So what are you doing here? My aunt lives here. You stay out of trouble, and we'll be fine. Listen, I need you to do something for me. Do not stop. Don't open the trunk until you get there. Look, Ian, I'm sorry. The only way we get out of this alive is if we do what they want and bury him. You say one word about what you saw tonight, and I swear to God, you'll end up in a hole just like that one. So I was wondering if you wanted to come to the party tonight. I guess so. I don't think they're just gonna let this go. Who are you talking about that? Wilson? The cop? I can't protect you from him. Where is he, Terry? I don't know what you're talking about. Ian, what do you think of me? I think you like playing the victim. Ian, but I need, I need your help. There has to be something I can do. Like what? Call the police. Look, I know you're new here, but they are the cops. What did you do with Ian? I'm sorry. You're gonna kill me too? You killed her! You turned everyone against me! Nobody changes, Ian. Nobody ever changes.